Assisted suicide should be made legal, legal in the United States. Where it is shown how physicians will be able to assist patients in suicide because it is their suffering. Patients should have the right to choose if they want assisted suicide, and most doctors support assisted suicide. Here's the story. Before Teresa Bell, there was another story about her. There was Karen and Quinlan on April 14, 1975, after an evening out with her friends, during which she consumed alcohol and said that this, the 21-year-old New Jersey resident stopped breathing and lost into a coma. After five months, doctors diagnosed Quinlan as being in a persistent beggared state. Her parents, who believed there was no chance of her returning to con consciousness and who wanted to end her suffering, requested that Queen was be disconnected from the machines that were sustaining her. When her doctors refused, they looked the case to court. They took the case to court in what became one of the first right to die case in the U.S. legal history. Based on the right to privacy, the court ruled that no compelling interest of the state could compel Karen to endure the unbearable and allow her to be taken off life support. The story made headlines and provided the groundwork for numerous similar cases. We will also like to point out that it will save money for families. According to Barbara A. Rocket in the book The Right to Die, it has been demonstrated that the highest cost in medical care is in the last six months' life. We must be advocating for physicians assisted suicide as an alternative, alternative to spending money caring for these patients whose day is inevitable. All we're saying is here that um, most patients who think they only have six months of life will do anything to end like their life happily. So I guess they spend much money and their parents or their family members start putting more money so they can save them when you know there's no time to save, there's no life to save because you know that person is gonna be gone. Yes, it would be sad, but it wouldn't be that sad knowing that, okay, she, at least she or he is in peace, not suffering in my bed, not suffering here with us. Um, we, all we're saying here is, would you or any member you love want to have to live in a condition of suffering, like not be able to think, speak, eat, breathe, walk, move, see, etc., on your own, knowing that you might live this way for the rest of your life and no amount of help or treatments will work? Or would you be ready to end the suffering and pain because you have the right? And many doctors believe you should have the right to choose. So let's make a good decision. In the closing statement.